Do you know, in 2019, there was a study done that by simply working the bottom of your feet, you can loosen up your hamstrings. That's right. So get yourself a tennis ball, or what I use, a little dog balls, any sort of thing, anything that you can work on the bottom of your foot, and I'm going to show you how you can, no matter how close you are to touching your toes, I'm gonna to show you how you can lengthen your hamstrings simply by working your foot. And then I'm gonna tell you why this is so important. So, stop the video, grab yourself a tennis ball, or a racquetball, or a dog toy, and let's get stuck into it. Okay, so, a tennis ball, all you need to do. Oh, first of all, we wanna test how close I am to touching my toes, all right? So you can do this yourself, see how far you can go down. So I'll lock out my knees, and that's where I'm at. So if you can see that, I'm about that far off the floor. Okay, now, any foot, and you can do this for about a minute, whoops. Do this for about a minute, work your whole foot, okay? Now, if this was something which I do every single day, and you feel tight areas, like so painful spots, you can just press on those. So what I'm doing here, if you have a look at this side, you just press your weight into the front foot, and then you can adjust your pressure as you work it in front of you like that, and all around your foot. And you do it for about a minute as we soften up the plantar fascia. And then I'm going to retest it, and I want you to do the same. So, and then I'm going to tell you why this is so important and what is actually happening here. Now, there was another study while I'm doing this, another study done where they showed that by stretching the calves and the hamstrings, so they had three groups. They had people with stiff necks, okay, the extensors. So one group did nothing, a control. Then the second group, what they did, they did neck, neck flexion to lengthen out the muscles. The third group did simply stretching of their hamstrings and their calves. Guess what happened? This is 2017, a study. They found that the people stretching their calves and their hamstrings had the same increase in range of movement as the neck flexing people. The people that stretched their necks had exactly the same amount as the people that didn't stretch their necks, but they stretched their, their hamstrings and their calves to get better range of movement. Why? Going back to tell you. Right, so there we go. Now you remember where I was before. Get this out of the way so you can see. Okay, so here we go, I'm locking out my legs. And now, I'm just short of touching the floor by doing one, one sole of my foot. I'll do the other one, and again, you do this yourself. So around about a minute, it feels fantastic, why wouldn't you do it? So I'm gonna work this foot, same thing, from the ball of the foot, right up by the toes, all the way, we're gonna work all that plantar fascia. Now, what is happening here? Right, so if you know, there's a book called Anatomy Trains. So the big thing in the last five years is stretching your fascia. And I'm gonna be doing a course on this because if you're just stretching muscle groups, you're missing out on all of these benefits. This is how I healed, my, by stretching my fascia, how I healed my Achilles tendon problem in one session, by stretching the fascia, okay? And because the thing is, just calf stretching or doing calf raises was not doing it. And I fixed this in one treatment, and I'm gonna tell you why. And this is um, what's called, there's a book by Thomas Myers, it's a brilliant book if you're a massage therapist, called Anatomy Trains. And simply put, there is fascia that goes, this is just one of the fascial lines, okay? That goes from, it's called the superficial back line. It goes from the bottom of your foot where your toe flexors are, goes all the way up, all the way up your calves. So it goes from, all right, so let's, I'll get into that in a second, tell you what's going on here. Okay, we'll get this out of the way. All right, so I was just about touching the floor before. Now I've done the second foot, and let's have a look. Lock my knees. Easy touch the floor. I have now got, I'll make sure my knees are locked out, so the test, and look at that. Simply by working the bottom of my feet, I have loosened up fascial restrictions which have loosened up my hamstrings, okay? So this is what I was trying to tell you about. So imagine this. So this is just one of the fascial lines and this is why fascial stre strengthening and fascial stretching is so important. We used to think fascia was nothing to even really think about, but it's a connective tissue that gives you more strength, more elasticity, more bounce, decreases your rate of injury because the vast majority of 
of injuries are not in the muscle, they are in the fascia. We now know that. In fact, fascia has way more pain receptors. It's the biggest sensory organ in our body. It has way more pain receptors than muscle. Why? Because the fascia is the number one thing that's getting infect affected when it's uh, injuries, these sorts of things. So, think of this line. Again, there are many lines throughout the body, but just think of this, it goes from your, it's, it's a fascial, a continual, piece of fascia that goes, or pieces of fascia that all connect from your, the bottom of your toe flexor all the way up. So if I take it all the way up like this, right the way, I'll show you around here. Okay, if I just step on this, think of it going up your calf, your hamstrings, your sacrum, your erector spinae, all of these are connected all the way up through the hip, right the, uh, all the way up through the neck, all the way to your forehead. Think of it be like one big long strap. And this is the thing, you have got to lengthen the entirety, lengthen and strengthen the entirety of the fascial system because if not, you'll be like me with Achilles tendon problems that didn't get fixed until I started addressing this whole line and then and it's been gone f for good, okay? So that is the secret, fascial stretching. I'm gonna be doing a course on this to teach you all about stre strengthening and stretching your body and giving you back your elasticity, that, that bounce that you lose because if you don't if you lose it if you don't use it you lose it so if you're not bouncing and we're going to show you the dynamic stretching these beautiful movements that we're going to be doing to help you and make you feel fantastic